First things first, I want to say hello to everyone and welcome to our Prino and Goki webinar. Um, I would, like, I would like to thank you for your time to join us today. And as I can see that there's a lot of you joining us from everywhere. Um, maybe we can start with you entering in the chat. Tell us which city you're from, which country you're from, and you know which property you're from. But yes, we today we we have quite an exciting city uh, topic today um, with a very very special guest, Jack from Goki. Cool. So let's let's get started. So first, but first things first, let me introduce my, introduce myself. I'm Kevin. I am the chief of product at Prino. I look after our R and D team, and we design and develop to make hoteliers' life better. And also, I also look after our customer team that work really hard to ensure that our customers are well supported. So, before we dive right in, I'll quickly give you an overview of today's session, and I'll briefly go through what we will be covering today. So today I'll quickly go through Prino for some of you that don't know much about Prino, and then I'll hand over to Jack after that, which I'm sure is the reason why a lot of you are at the webinar today. I will uh, jump right in. So what is Prino? So Prino, we are a hotel management system. We're an all-in-one system that helps you automate your admin and boost your bookings. I thought it would be much clearer to show you where we sit in, in um, the hotel system. So in this slide, um, we, we were right there from the start at the guest booking. So we've got our Prino booking engine that can help you take a lot more direct bookings and boost your revenue. We also connect to online travel agents such as Airbnb, booking.com, and yeah, a whole lot of OTAs using our Prino channel manager. And then you can manage your, your stays within the property management system itself. And to make it even more powerful and more automated, we connect with amazing integrations like Xero, Lightspeed, and of course, um, our latest and the best um, integration, Goki. So that's a little bit about our hotel management software. If you'd like to find out more about Prino, I, I suggest that you do take a trial with Prino, talk to one of our experts, they'll show you Prino in detail. But before I jump into the main event, some benefits of Prino. I won't go through all of them, but yeah, definitely take a trial with us. Um, now to the main event, I'll hand it over to Jack. Great. Thanks very much, Kev. Uh, good to see everyone today. My name's Jack. I'm the founder and the CEO of Goki and delighted to be here today to talk a little about our integration with Prino and what that means for your property. Um, today, I'm just going to go over four slides, so not going to keep you for, for too long. But the main things I'm going to be talking about is a very quick introduction to what we do, um, a talk about what the last 18 months has been like for all of us, uh, what our main products are in the pricing, and how we're more than a lock. Um, so first off, our reason for being uh, is to make stays better. And that's something we can deliver as part of this new integration with Prino. How do we do that? Well, one of the main things we're doing is eliminating repetitive tasks for hoteliers. And we do that by automating things like check-in, access, and, and how you can use our technology to communicate more effectively with your guests during the stay. So just to touch on each of those points in a little bit more detail, uh, firstly, check-in. Um, so I should say that Prino is still the brains of the operation here, still the single source of, of truth. And just to illustrate that point uh, by talking about the guest journey, when a guest books your property, doesn't matter if that's a direct OTA or a walk-in, uh, we get that uh, data and then the booking confirmation email goes out from Prino, but we can direct the guests to an online check-in platform we've built. So your guests can check in prior to arrival, just as if they booked a flight. Uh, if they don't do that prior to arrival, they can use our tablets on arrival, or, which I guess we're all used to at the moment, a scan a QR code to check in. And we push all that data over to Prino. So you've got 100% clear actionable data on all of your guests and later you can run reports for marketing or auditing purposes. Uh, after the check-ins occurred, we move on to access and access is part of this integration that we've done. So we'll, we'll call a few API calls with Prino and say, is it the day of the booking? Has this person paid? Is their room clean? All of those kinds of things. If we get a load of green ticks back, then we will give the guests access to their room and access to their companions if it's a group booking as well. Um, so essentially what that means is that each guest will get a unique pin for the length of their stay 
and a smart key if they want to use their phone as their key. And it's all dynamically integrated with Prino. So the pin will last for the length of their stay or the smart key will last for the length of their stay. They do a late checkout or extend or move room. It all just happens automatically, nothing for you guys to do. And then lastly, um, it's what's possible when you've done those two things. Once people have checked it online or they're using their phone as their key, what kind of operational efficiencies can we deliver to the hotel? And I guess one of the core benefits is that we've created this communication channel between you and your guests. You can start directing them to your other revenue centers. So that's a very quick overview on GoKey. Um, the next slide uh, I want to talk about is just some of the changes we've gone through. And I guess um, I've been working in hospitality and hotels and hostels for the last 16 years. And 18, the last 18 months have been extremely tough. The pandemic has changed everything. But I guess the great thing about Prino and Goki is that we changed too. And being a sort of cloud-based uh, business, uh, modern technology, focus on automation, that puts you in pretty good hands for adapting to those changes. And uh, some of the things I want to talk about today is some of the regulatory changes that have occurred, uh, what shifts there's been in the industry, how the guests have adapted to that, and then a little bit of talk about um, what technology uh, hotels are adopting uh, to adapt. Um, so firstly, regulatory changes. I'm sure you're aware, as I am, that contactless has become the biggest buzzword in hospitality. I'm sure that's why many of you joined the webinar today. But essentially, what hotels need to do now is to be able to offer a contactless guest journey. And that's something that we enable through this integration that we've done with Prino, how to get the guests from making their booking to opening their door with as minimal human contact as possible. And of course, that's to support social distancing in this new world that we all live in right now. Um, next, with the industry shift, I've been lucky enough in the last 18 months to speak to well over a thousand properties. And a common theme in all of those conversations is these five-year digital strategies that they had planned, which they have to do today, now. There's no point in having a, a five-year horizon for these things anymore. Um, and I guess that's a lot about what we're doing there is automation with Prino. So uh, not only can we streamline your operation a little bit through automation, but we can also start creating some new revenue uh, streams for your hotel. And we can talk about that in a moment. Um, guest behavior, all of us on this call have to scan a QR code to check in anywhere right now. And that's kind of a benefit, right? Because there's an expectation from the guests that they're going to be using technology to check into your venue. And of course, what that means for you, if you start doing things like mobile check-in and smart keys and access and all that kind of good stuff is that you can lower the running costs for your property. And after the last 18 months we've had, I think that's a great thing to be able to achieve. Um, lastly, uh, I'm gonna talk mainly about locks because of course that's one of our products, but in the conversations I've had with hoteliers, what they're looking to do is leverage technology to kind of optimize in this downturn and come out fighting on the other side. And what we hear a lot from hoteliers is they want to try and lower these third party dependencies. And typically when it comes to things like devices, a large part of a, a lock companies business model is doing the installation and sending maintenance crew out to you, which is why when I developed Goki, uh, a lot of that was about how we can remove those dependencies and start focusing on a more low touch self-service model. So you can go to the website, you can order a lock, do a lock order, we build out an installation video for you guys to do yourselves. Um, on the next slide, Kev. No worries. And please, while I'm talking, um, feel free to write any questions that might be coming to your mind in the chat and we'll be dealing with that at the end and I'll do my best to answer those uh, in the discussion part of the, the webinar. Um, on the screen here, you can see our two main products. On the left, you can see the smart disc and on the right, you can see the smart lock. Uh, the smart disc is a retrofit idea. So it's how you can upgrade your existing locks. Um, so the idea there is that maybe you've just invested in brand new RFID locks, but you've missed the contactless party. And what you can do with our smart disk is they connect wirelessly to those locks. And we work with all the main manufacturers and you'll add the option of pin and mobile access on top of what you already have. So you can start automating things like check-in and access. Um, on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see our full solution, which is the smart lock. And if you're using metal keys, this is what you would use uh, if your locks are on their last legs, or maybe you just want to upgrade what you currently have. But the, the headline here is for both products is that as soon as you install them, you've automated your entire check and flow and how you give access to your guests in, in combination with Prino. And down below, you can see there's various different ways of opening it from native applications, 
web apps, wearables, pins, and so on. And this uh, wristband that I'm wearing, which is great for housekeeping as a master key. And the next, uh, next slide, I just want to talk a little bit about um, how we're more than a lock. Um, so often I, I get demo requests from, from hotels and they've organized the call really to talk about our smart lock. Um, but the reason they buy typically is because of the software we've built. And I guess the, the, the idea here is that we're much more about more than opening and closing doors and more about what operational efficiencies can occur once you've got your guests onto this platform, this environment uh, with Prino. So firstly, I think marketing is the core benefit that we offer. And um, there's very simple communication inside the dashboard, which you can see on the right, from direct messaging a guest uh, to sending a shout out to certain segments of guests based on where they are in the user journey. Automated notifications, that could be, hey, we see you leaving tomorrow, do you want to extend your stay? Or after checkout, sentiment tracking. Um, to letting people know what's on at your hotel, whether you're putting an event on and other guests can see who's attending those events, and that's a way to foster community during the stay. 86% um, of our guests attend at least one activity, and they say that has the biggest bearing on the review they leave during their stay. So it's kind of exciting stuff. Um, and then lastly, online, online ratings. So we built out a system using autopilot, which we'll talk about in a minute, which means that we serve content to guests at the time where we're going to get the highest rate of conversion. Subsequently, we can increase your ratings. Um, autopilot uh, is in the dashboard. And this is how you kind of set the operational parameters for your business. So I mentioned before, if someone arrives, uh, the room's clean, they've paid, it's the day of their booking, let's give them access. That's a kind of operational thing you can do in autopilot. But other things exist like, uh, hey, we're having an event on Thursday, let's send a shout out to everyone one hour before. Um, or let's send a late checkout or extend stay to certain guests at this time. But ultimately, once you receive the, the devices, map them to Prino and set up autopilot, you should be able to sit back and relax and let us do the heavy lifting associated with running your property. Uh, next, staff and guest management. So uh, Spaces application, which you can see on the mobile phone in the picture is the staff app. So you can do things like set master keys and generate pins, but also a lot of cool stuff around staff management. If a light bulb's broken in a room or a room needs cleaning, you can assign those tasks to other, other team members and they can be dealt with. Same with guest requests, which comes through in the sort of Kanban idea where you can assign those tasks and move them to done at the end of the day. And it's all about being accountable and handling tasks in a timely manner so the guest experience is high. And then lastly, all of these features are supported by our team of 24-7 support. We built a knowledge base that supports uh, .gopi.travel where you can read articles and watch videos. Uh, but there's people always available through a chat feature in the dashboard to help you with anything you might be struggling with. And um, that's it for me, Kev. I think we're on to the discussion part of the webinar. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, Jack, for your, uh, uh, Very welcome. your statement. That was really cool. And I think that's one of the reasons why um, we were so excited to, to partner with you because, you know, it's, it's, um, it's one of those, uh, we're so well aligned in, in our philosophy. Um, before we jump into our discussion segment, um, for any one of you that have any questions, please add your questions to the Q&A section. I can see a couple of people have sent through some questions already, and we'll definitely answer that just right after this discussion segment. Um, so you still have time to send, send through your questions. But yeah, so jumping into our discussion section, I've got a couple of questions to ask Jack. So first question is, so there's the smart disk and the smart locks. What's your advice to our audience? How do they make a decision on which one to go with? Sure. Well, as I said, it's kind of um, whether you want to upgrade your existing locks or replace them. So that's the first mm. port of call. If you've got really nice RFID locks that you're completely happy with, I'd suggest you go with the smart disk. They're half the price from a software perspective. They're no different at all. If you're using metal keys, you've got no choice but to go to the smart lock, right? That's the only way you can do it. So um, typically when we do the demo, we do after that, we do a lock auditing process where we try and understand what the property has, how many common areas, whether they need lift or garage support, all of that kind of stuff. And then at that point, we can really help uh, the, the hotel make the decision. A common question that we hear quite, quite a bit when it comes to um, automated locks is, so what, what do you say about losing personal touch, especially with this contactless check-in? What are the results that you're actually seeing in properties that are actually using Goki? 
you know, there was a way I answered this question before the pandemic, and there's a way I answered the question after the pandemic. And I remember giving a speech in Chicago, and um, people said, oh, you know, we've built up a lot of brand equity in how we welcome guests. We don't want to lose that. And we don't want robots taking over and all of these kind of things. And, you know, my response then was, you know, it's fairly antiquated, admin heavy, boring process to go through. And if there's a way of streamlining that and creating more of a sort of Uber like experience, then let's do it. But I think since the pandemic, it's no longer about, whether you can get technology doing the heavy lifting and create more meaningful connections with guests. It's more about the necessity of needing to move a guest from booking to their room with as minimal human contact as possible because of social distancing. So long queues after long flights and filling out forms, I think those days are gone. And I think that's something that with Prino and Goki, we can kind of support coming out of that world and into the kind of new, more modern way of doing things. For sure, for sure, yeah. Um, I can see quite a number of questions come through. So maybe let's just jump on some of these sure. questions. So question number one, you show the wristbands. I would guess there are RFID. Can I still use RFID cards with Goki logs? So they're similar to RFID, but the technology is called MyFair. Um, here in Sydney, where I'm based, that's what we would use uh, to get, up, get on the trains or the buses or, or whatever else. The good thing about MyFair versus RFID is that you can encode them using Spaces app, which we built for staff, whereas RFID cards usually come with quite expensive encoders, and that's something we wanted to remove. And I think an important point I'd like to make about Goki is that sustainability is one of our core principles. Um, so with Goki, you can remove uh, plastic key cards completely from your operation, expensive encoders. You don't need paper registration forms, and you don't need throwaway batteries because all of our devices run on rechargeable lithium. So I think that's a really important point to make, and that's why we went with MyFair technology. So it's it, it's very similar to RFID, but it, it's just called MyFair. Yes, oh. yeah. And we built these um these wristbands here in uh, quite highly high quality silicone, so that that housekeeping can use it. That, that's primarily the function for the wristbands. They're not really to be handed out to guests. Although if you look at the lock, uh, there is actually a secret metal key. You can use MyFair, you can use pins, you can use smart keys to access them. So plenty of options. Awesome. Um, I've got another question from the audience. What if the power goes out? Can guests still get in and out of their rooms? So we've got two ways of operating our devices. There's an offline mode and there's an online mode. Um, and if the power goes out and there's no Wi-Fi connection and the guests don't have data, then yes, they can still access their room because the locks in offline mode run purely on Bluetooth protocols. Um, so there's no issue there with things like power cuts. And even when the power is on, the guest doesn't need to have a Wi-Fi connection or data in order to be able to open the rooms. We've got someone asking, if I have 17 rooms in a small motel, what's the best way to do it? The best way to do it, the best way to get started with Goki or? I would imagine it would be, yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. So... I mean, you can go to gokitech.com. Um, it's very easy to see where you can book in a, a call with me or any of our, our partnership people, and we can take you through the solution. Um, we, we have a warehouse in New Zealand and in Australia, so it's very simple to do the delivery. Um, and typically, we go through a process of, of, of demo, doing a demo, answering any questions, doing a lock audit, explaining what you need, and then going through to actually delivering the goods. And then Custom Success will jump on and explain how it all works on an implementation call. An interesting question, can you create a cutoff time for available rooms in the evening? For instance, a room that don't sell by 10 p.m. Yes. will cancel out and not be able to be booked. Yes, you can do that on a room to room basis by using a feature called Limit Access on Spaces app. And you can do it more generally for your property inside the basic settings of your dashboard. And that's where you would say, okay, from uh, 10 a.m. that's checkout or to 10 p.m. is check-in or whatever it may be, you can set those parameters inside the dashboard and those that's the window from when these locks are going to be operational. Brilliant, brilliant. I, I see there's quite a few people asking the similar question, so I'm going to try to summarize them together. So a number of people have asked whether the locks will work on ranch sliders, glass sliding doors. So um, we've got one product that's not on view um, in this webinar which is called Smart Access. And essentially it's an access panel, which is similar to the Smart Lock and the, the Smart Disk, but it runs on mains power. And typically where people would use this is externally because they're IP rated for different weather. Um, so you'd use it on a, on a glass door with a magnetic release or a garage or a lift. And, and typically we'd be using access panels for those type of common areas. And then what you would do as a hotel is say, people in these rooms can access these common areas. So you're also, 
um, limiting access to certain uh, guest types, for example, gym or garage or whatever else it may be. I'm just conscious on the time and I'm just going to, and I can still see quite a few questions coming through. So maybe let's take one last question. And for those questions that we haven't answered, we will get back to you personally as well. So last question to answer, which countries are your locks available in? So we're in every continent in the world with varying degrees of shipping difficulties, particularly at this current stage. In this part of the world, Australia and New Zealand, we don't have much issue because they're stored locally. And then in other areas around the world, then we we typically get quotes for DHL, FedEx and UPS and give quotations on that. With smart locks that are heavier and therefore more expensive to ship, we also supply ocean and train quotations as well. So uh, they're available anywhere in the world. Um, they work anywhere in the world. So. It's just a matter of um, us planning the logistics for you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jack. And um, and thank you so much, everyone, for joining us on the webinar. To answer one last question as well, someone's asked about, are we able to share the recording because they were unable to join from the beginning? Um, yes, we have recorded this. So we will send out the recording shortly after. If you'd like to find out more about Prino and Goki, feel free to sign up for a trial at PrinoHQ.com. Like our experts, our team will be able to answer all the questions that you have as well. Um, and we'll definitely take good care of you. So yeah, thanks for joining us. And until next time, stay safe and see you all later. Thanks everyone.